All right, fellas, as you can see, we're getting uh, back to the Ford 8 end. Finally, finally got this alternator mounted, right? And um, just been a lot of silly little problems mounting this thing. Number one issue was the pulley, all right? Had to get the exact right pulley, and um, this is what I mean. This is the original pulley that was on there, okay, the serpentine belt. You see that little step down there where my thumb is? Okay. That act as a spacer. Okay. Went into the back of the alternator. And that gave it space. The space you see there. Alright. That was of most importance. Had to be exactly right. Okay. Plus the cord had to be exact same diameter and all. So. Um, ended up going to a auto electronic uh, repair place. To get the pulley with the proper spacer to make it work okay all the pulleys I had here just were not working out right so finally got that straightened down and finally figured out how I was going to mount this thing it was not easy there's not much to bolt to on this side of the tractor at all and uh, the other side you got the um, radiator hose in the way so this is where the generator was all right the other thing I wanted to point out that's very important is this Okay, I'm going to try to get my light on here so I can show you this. All right, down here where the belt goes, okay? I'm trying to get an angle here. You can see it. I don't know if you can. But the space, the space between that belt and that number two spark plug wire and the distributor is about three quarters of an inch. All right, now the old belt, uh, rather the old distributor cap, when I took it off, it had a, a, a gouge in it, and so did the spark plug wire. And um, I assumed that was from a mouse, uh, you know, chewing on it, because it sat in that barn for so many years. But in fact, now I find out it, it, the, the light uh, literally comes on, and I see that it was not from that. It was from the belt rubbing against it. So with these 9 end, 2 ends, 8 end tractors, with the front mount distributor, you must watch that. That that belt does not rub against your distributor, your wire, or your distributor cap. Alright, so I think it was important to just uh, share that with you guys. Alright, uh, it's something that is very easily overlooked. Okay, you're standing up here, you don't see it. But uh, it's very easily overlooked. So, I want to point that out. Now, I'm getting ready to hook this up. And I'm going with the advice I got from everybody on the... On the uh, page here that helped me out. Thanks to everybody. Big wire is going to the battery. Small wire is going to the incandescent lamp on the dashboard. Basically, idiot light. Okay. Now, before I make the final connection here, though, um, when it comes to electrical work, I am super, super slow and cautious. Okay, because I've admittedly have fried stuff in the past, so I've learned my lessons the hard way. And I'm very cautious. So this is what I got going on here. Okay. This jumper cable here is going to the battery. Okay. Got a light bulb here. Negative. Alright. I got a light. Okay. Touching the ground here. I got a light. Okay. Now what I want to make sure. Even though I had this alternator tested and they told me it was good. I want to make sure is that this wire and this wire... Neither of them are grounded inside to distribute the alternator. So I touch one, I got no light bulb. I touch the other one, I got no light bulb. Okay, touch the ground again, I got light. Okay, again, nothing, nothing. So that's my test. Okay, no light, no light, light. Okay, so that's how I test it, okay. Of course, the uh, last thing I want to do is start this track and see smoke pouring out of that alternator. So that's the deal. Um, now I feel safe about hooking it up. And uh, so I'm going to run the wire to uh, the dashboard, get things hooked up here, and uh, presently charging the battery. And uh, I got the old Sears Die Hard here. I must have had that freaking battery charged over 20 years or more, I swear. Uh, still works perfect. Um, so. I'm just looking things over now again, man. When it comes to electrical work, I don't give a damn if I'm boring you to death. I don't care. I take my sweet-ass time. I really do. 
and um, I am absolutely um, super cautious. I always am, but uh, I like doing wiring. I mean, I, I've wired many, many tractors. You guys have seen my videos, no? Um, but um, when it comes to alternators or generators, I'm very cautious. All right, guys, uh, stay tuned. Hopefully, this thing's gonna fire, and I'm gonna be able to show you a charge on the meter uh, as soon as it does. Book them, Daniel.